Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and in this video I'm going to show you a really weird glitch, basically, that's, that's still going on in the game. It's, it's, this started back in Hitman 2, towards the end of its life cycle, and they never got around to fixing it. Obviously, it's really hard to fix or something like that, and I think they abandoned it overall. But uh, during the live stream on Sunday, we experimented around with this, and uh, it's, it's interesting to see the results. I've, I've re-recorded everything uh, just to show you all the results and it's quite interesting so first of all you can get someone assassin by using a tranquilizer and just shooting someone in the head and equally you can do that with an explosive as well and i'm going to show you step by step each one in uh, in practice so i'm going to start off with the camel 2 tranquilizer or the camel 1 or the taunton it doesn't matter which whatever one you use it's they're all the same thing and we're going to bring along a any pistol any silent pistol you can even bring a loud pistol it really doesn't matter at all uh, and we're gonna. This is the contract I made in Wilton Creek, just so I can get a fast, easy, quick target. So initially, I took my pistol, my silenced pistol, out of my briefcase, and this is my target. So what I'm gonna do is get out of his line, eye line of sight, even though it doesn't really matter, because he's gonna die momentarily. So we take him out, and while he's in the animation of getting knocked out, we just go ahead and shoot him in the head. And even if his body is found it's not going to lose your silent assassin rating. So I'll like, I advise you to keep your eye on the bottom left corner of the screen. So the little green pistol symbol is the silent assassin tracker, which is built into the game. Uh, I think they included it in Hitman 2 in the, the final period of Hitman's 2 life cycle. So it was a good quality of life change. So it will track uh, whether you lost silent assassin or not. So it will turn red if you committed a non-target kill or a body found or something like that. So there you go, the woman there, the jogger that's just discovered his body and your silent assassin tracker would usually turn red because you've uh, pistol shot him in the head and it's not an accident kill or a poison kill. But this works in a weird way, however, because the, the NPC thinks he's been sedated but at the same time he's, he's dead because he went in the animation of actually being knocked out. So that is interesting but they never got around to fixing it so I decided to experiment during the live stream and I wanted to use the sedative syringe uh, with the pistol because it's the same effect, you know, as long as it's a sedative of some sort. Concussions don't work, but sedatives, uh, they all should work exactly the same. The problem is with the syringe is it acts too quickly and you can't quickly get into your inventory, pull out the first pistol fast enough and shoot him in the head. If you're super quick, maybe on PC you can do that, but on console I tried again and again, I just couldn't get it to work. So again, once the sedated body is found, you won't lose your silent assassin rating. So I tried to use uh, the gold brick proximity gas device. So you unlock this from the, the sloth DLC of the Season of Sins. And what it does is you drop it and within proximity of anyone, uh, it will emit a sedative gas cloud. And it will do the same thing as what the tranquilizer did. And uh, it's really cool really, because like I said, you, it works the same way. As soon as they go into that animation, you can shoot them in the head. And again, the same outcome will, will happen. The body will get found and you won't lose your silent assassin rating. But if you do it too quickly and it doesn't uh, yet, the, before they do the animation, it's not going to work. So make sure you are timing it while they are in that animation when they drop the pistol, basically. But yeah, I just think it's a really true, a really cool thing to, well, you can abuse it. It's not, uh, I, wish they, I wish they kind of like fixed it, but it must be something that's really difficult to, to fix because of the, the way they, do their scripts and stuff like that because obviously the npc is reacting to a sedated body which doesn't lose your silent assassin and because you've killed them during that animation the npcs still think it's a sedated person even though the lines are different even though it says you know we've got a dead body over here or or whatever but this can easily be abused amongst different contracts and stuff like that so no longer can you you have to necessarily use the propane flask. So I decided to step it up. I wanted to use an explosive baseball. Uh, you can use a golf ball or any explosive you want really. It doesn't matter. But again, we're using the gold brick proximity gas device. So what we're going to do is drop the gas device in front of him. Wait a couple of seconds. And as soon as he gets gassed, we're just going to throw the baseball at him. Boom. And because it's loud, it's going to attract a lot more attention. It's going to get people over here quickly. If you hang around the area, though, uh, everyone is an enforcer to you. So I wouldn't hang around when it comes to explosives. But it's just, 
It's just a funny way of getting Silent Assassin suit only by just exploding your enemies right in front of everybody and, and you can still get away with it. It's quite funny. I wouldn't recommend using a baseball though. I would recommend using something like uh, a micro explosive or something remote, remote because when you drop that it's not a legal item. And I think it's an illegal action to throw baseballs and golf balls. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, I rarely ever use it apart from Hokkaido. But yeah, it works the same way. Like I said, the body's been found here. Silent Assassin is still retained. You could easily just exit the mission now and keep your Silent Assassin racing. It's just as straightforward as that, really. It's quite funny. So I'm going to show you the way of doing it with the proximity as well. The problem with the proximity, you have to time it. So we're using the micro proximity. So when it's dropped, it's not discovered or detected. And uh, yeah, that's my loadout for the same contract. But again, this, this is a little bit more tricky to time. It's about a couple of seconds. So what you got to do is just go up to him, drop it, and then wait a couple of seconds. And then drop it again. So as you're running away, you can do this for a speed run or whatever it is. You can, as you're running away, it will explode while he's in that animation. So the gas will get him first. And it gives the time for the explosive to you know, take him out. Because we don't want the explosive killing him before the gas has actually done its job. But again... As you'll see in a second, his body's going to get found, and again, you'll still retain your Silent Assassin rating. Again, you can just easily, you can easily use this. It's not a difficult thing to do either. It does require the Goldbrick proximity snail to actually to trigger this, but you can easily use the trank if you don't have that. It will do exactly the same thing. So you said, body found. Silent Assassin tracker still green. There we go. Easy Silent Assassin. So on the final piece of showcase I've got for you, I created a contract in Paris and you know the three waiters that are in the basement area and uh, you know they sit around the benches in the locker rooms, that's the three targets I went for. So again I'm using the Golbic proximity and we're using the explosive baseball but any explosive will do, it. don't remember, don't matter what it is. The only time it will matter is if uh, you've got non-targets around you and it's uh, not a micro ex explosive and they'll see it. But yeah, we're just going to place it in between them, so it gasses all three of them. And then we're just going to explode all three of them at the same time with the baseball. Boom. Quite funny. Now they're going to hear it over there, the guard's going to hear it, and he's going to rush over. I don't want to be in the area at the time. Well, I do, but I don't at the same time. Because, Like I said, if you're in any area or have any, like, uh, any crimes, the guys become enforcers. But like I said, there you go, body found. Silent Assassin still retained. And we're actually just going to finish the mission to actually prove that we are getting a Silent Assassin. I'm not going to cut it either, just just in case people think I'm editing it or anything like that. But no, you can indeed uh, do this. But you can try it out for yourself if you want to. If you're on PS5, there's a co you use that contract code if you want to try it out on these, these things. Or you can create your own contracts and try that out yourself. But uh, yeah, I just thought it was quite funny and quite a, quite a good thing if you are in a bit of a pickle. When it comes to even a looser target, you could do this. You could literally just put something, put an explosive in a briefcase, put the briefcase on the floor and explode the briefcase. So you could do it in front of everyone if you've not got a micro explosive. But yeah, easy. That's as simple as that. I just thought it was a really cool thing to show. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if uh, you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button or click the link in the description for all the details. Big shout out to all my Psycho Assassin members, Paul Lilly, RGR, Bedry, Mark Davis, Constantine Mueller, Isaiah Blake and Thomas. Thank you very much for becoming Psycho Assassin members. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I think it's going to be the inventory uh, showcase. So like I'll show you the entirety of my inventory. People have been asking me to do that, so I'll probably get on that next. I'll see you guys then. Cheers.